Girls at weddings. Ugh, her dress is the same color as mine. Boys at weddings. Hmm, I see you went with black. I went with black. Good choice. Thank you. Yes, very good. Black is so in. Okay, so for some context for the next image, uh, this is meant to be a recreation of the bride. And you'll understand that it makes sense this was tagged as a disaster. And just so you know what we're comparing here, here's the person. Just focus on the person here. They've got a neck, clearly. The face is blurred for an understandable reason. Because this is the recreation of them. So, is this thing edible, or are we gonna have to see it for the entire night? I mean, this is something you'd have to get approved of before you even presented it. Like, did no one, not even the bride themselves, stop and think, hey, you know what? Neck's a bit long. How is we don't even want to be married an entire genre of wedding cake topper? Nothing more romantic than a person wanting to flee someone, but can't, is unable to, is not allowed to. Ah, romantic bliss. No true love than insinuating that the likely $10,000 or so of an investment you've made together in life will be for nothing. Hell, it seems to have even become some sort of competition to make the worst type of cake toppers imaginable. Couple didn't pay, so the photographer cat-faced all the images. However, the question is, is it because those photos were pretty over-filtered anyway? Yeah, you truly gotta wonder if the wedding couple were just being a-holes trying to skimp out, or were they just really unimpressed with the ridiculous effects they put on all these images. That said, everyone looks absolutely gorgeous today. <laughs> Beautiful. There's still time to change your decor. There's still time to run. I appreciate it, mate, but don't you worry. I'm not making the same life choices that you made with those tattoos. Now for some wedding bingo, you can play at your own future wedding, if you have one, assuming you might. There'll be that one guest who wears something like this, usually the mother-in-law. The best man sobbing over a story nobody can relate to during his speech. A minister that the couple requested to appease the elders in the family, because they're both atheists. This ritual that would be considered inappropriate in any other public venue besides a strip club. No, seriously, let's talk to aliens about what we do here. We remove the panties from someone in front of their entire family. Oh, wow, especially kids. No, kids see it too. They see everything. Mmm, gotta love them Christian values. And last but not least, the crying baby that was brought, even though the invite said no baby, because the parents think theirs is special. And in case none of these have phased you yet, welcome to your daily People Are The Worst Animal Abuse Edition. Someone sharing this to us in a Facebook group. Don't use live animals unless you are going to get them good homes. Many fish have died tonight at my cousin's wedding. They are all mostly gasping for air. Yeah, just a daily reminder that fish poles are like putting a person into an airtight sealed tomb and expecting them to thrive. Spoiler alert, they don't. All right, whose maid of honor is asking a around for duck picks. So, this might be random, but would you be willing to send a duck pick to be part of a game called Match the Duck to the Face to be played at Cassidy's Bachelorette? I am collecting picks of ducks, and then picks of that faces that match the duck. You can deny my request, totally understandable, but I personally think this is gonna be hilarious. Yeah, let this be a warning to any do-bags out there who actually send unsolicited duck picks. That thing's likely being used in a Bachelorette game, and the girls ain't being impressed by it. Oh, look at these sweet pet names. What a cute couple. Oh, they must have such a platonic and mutual respect towards each other. I mean, they probably are actually the most respectful among each other in most couples. Still, don't advertise your kink to your whole family when you're getting married. Well, that was an unexpected escalation. So my mom and stepmom will be walking me down the aisle since my dad had passed away eight years ago. Oh. My mom is going to wear a d*** <gasps> under her dress and have the tip poking out. <laughs> Just the tip. <laughs> well, I'm pretty excited about it. It'll help keep some attention off of me, and it's effing hilarious. Anyone else planning something odd? And now for a horrible guest who pulls attention from the couple at their own wedding. Look at this piece of work. This is so selfish, you piece of sh**. You f dog. You dog. You're a dog. Come buy some custom farmhouse signs, doormats, coasters even. Check out this example from this great couple. They've been around since the 1930s. Apparently the fiance didn't want his name to be used, but you know how they are all. Oh, oh no. 
Oh, sir, that is a... That ear is problematic. I'm concerned for you. I hope you remember your special day, because everyone else is gonna be too busy remembering this. What's the latest trend in pre-wedding shoots? The X! Uh, I'm sorry, what? Hang on, wait. The, it's too blurry, I can't properly read. As in they're getting a photo with the X, or they're literally shooting their X. That is concerning. I've dated people in the past. I hope they're not getting married anytime soon. Yes. Was this said by a snake or something? Got married on a Friday because Saturdays, Saturdays are for, for the, the boys. boys. Oh, I would rather die alone than for this to happen at my wedding. Hmm. Hmm. The groom. The bride. Hmm. Hey, that cake's looking pretty nice. Oh, oh. Game over. I am trapped for the rest of my life. Ha <laughs> ha. Is someone forcing you to do this? Handcuff engagement ring. That's it. I'm ring shaming. It was recommended to me on Etsy. Look, if this was some sort of Bonnie and Clyde fans or something like that to do with criminal, maybe they met on a Criminal Minds podcast or something. I don't know. I could see how this could work. I'm just saying. Peep my hater in the background. Oof. That is a definite court in 4K. That or the theoretical boyfriend that's next to her likely accidentally said something out loud that he wasn't meant to say when he looked at the bridesmaid and said she was hot. Hi, I am hoping to create a hay urinal for my wedding in a few weeks. See picture. Hence, I am chasing one round of hay of roughly the size in the picture. Obviously, the type of hay and quality aren't important, just looking for something cheap. Pick up near this place. Ideal. Thanks. Oh, what the one thing we all truly desire from a toilet space. Something that catches pee and attains the scent. Hello, everyone. Me and my partner are having a high school musical themed wedding in August 2022. No, thank you. And I would love to send an invite to any of the celebrities that are in it. Does anyone have the address for Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Tisdale, or anyone else? We believe our wedding is worth their time. Thanks. 100 bucks, says Zac Efron is her celebrity hall pass. Come to John and Jill's wedding. There's a very special guest they want you to meet. Oh, lordy, why is it tagged as disaster? The beautiful lush green grass, the ancient, admirable stone architecture. There's, oh, there's just something missing from this perfect setting. Oh, that's right, a pale white man with some syrup on him. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, Jesus was bald. That's right, I forget. And he wore a diaper. <laughs> a diaper? Okay. What a better way to laugh off the fact you have no actual close friends to be as best man than to just hire a llama as your best man. Yes, this dude straight up rented a llama for his sister's wedding. She does not look as thrilled as he feels. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> He's not the one getting married. Okay. That's, yep, less ridiculous, but still ridiculous. I'm immediately realizing the concern here when I implied that he's getting married at his sister's wedding. Sweet home Alabama. You can't deny though that that llama is looking real fresh in that tux. She looks like she'd been new but mad at herself for not believing he'd actually follow through. Yeah, you can only see the lips, but that's enough for you to tell that there is some serious scorn in her face. I feel like this ranks up there with bride dragging the groom cake toppers. Last chance to run. Daddy! Daddy. Here comes mommy. mommy. Again, there has to be a point in the wedding planning where you as a partner have to question if they are really up for marrying you. Um, question. Should I use a smoke bomb to stop a wedding? Community answer. No, you should not. 91 people found this helpful. 53 people refused to move on. How dare you? They were perfect for me. We could have had a love and beautiful life together. Use a regular bomb. They're much more effective. Oh, okay. I don't care what your political views are. This is stupid as hell for a wedding cake. He looks even stupider as a cake. And hell no is he actually that thin in real life. Also, it's sad to say that I'm kind of not surprised by the look of these two as a wedding couple that this is their cake. I mean, I am I try not to generalize anything too much, but I mean, white people, I, what are we? What is on with us? Other cultures tend to have stereotypes that make them seem dangerous, while we have stereotypes that just, you know, it's like a parent who isn't angry, they're just disappointed. And you know that feels worse. Immediately, no. Immediately, no. Oh, wow, we were really moving up in the world in graceful cake cake creations. Wow, nearly said a different C word there that was uh, far more accurate to what we're viewing. Though you gotta give props 
also the fact this literally reads as someone who's shot a man and is taking his dead body away. Came across this picture on Instagram Explore. His board basically says, I won't change. He has lost his rights to flirt. Hashtag just married. I mean, even if he was playing along with this, what kind of celebration is the idea that, yay, he won't express any way to make me feel excited and fresh in this relationship anymore. Woohoo! Call me a water slide because I'm so on board for going downhill. The Russian equivalent of that MAGA wedding. Well, that doesn't look too bad right now. Just looking at the crown. There we got the nice dress. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a choice. That is that is a material that has color uh, of some design. That is all I'm going to say. Also, screw 2022 Hitler, obviously. What a beautiful wedding. What a beautiful wedding. Said the bridesmaid to the racist. Yes, but what a, what a shame. What a shame. The poor groom's bride is an elf. Seriously, a past thing, the Confederate flag outfits, what is, I, did they just like pile up a bunch of leaves and flatten them with a bunch of books? I got you, don't strain your eyes. Same pen is forever. And he's got the same patang to have forever too. Uh, wow, that, that is so just inappropriate. inappropriate. How did that shake arms like that, man? Hey, let's check out some Facebook ads. Ooh, a men's urinal. That's, that's what I'm looking for. $150, basically the same price. It's just a legitimate toilet. Okay, you've got some confidence if you think that equates to a toilet. Oh, it just goes into a hole in the dirt. My hubby made these for the men to use at our wedding. Well, what a better way to celebrate your wedding than by saying a big frick you to your neighbor across the fence. They may not see the wedding, but they'll smell it. Hey, I have an amazing idea for a super unique pic. Oh, I see we're just getting into a theme now when it comes to, well, schmitty photos. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now that's how you take in climate photos. The hunt is over. Something borrowed something blue something old and something to shoot you now you might think okay well what's the difference between this and holding up swords i mean at least swords you can look cool holding them and swishing them around flourishing them there's some you know artistry to it guns purely just go pew pew and commit death immediately like it's you know it's not exactly as prestigious to hold one my sims are getting married and the ex-wife showed up in a wedding dress oh my lord i hope this is purposeful code or not. Honestly, either way, I'll take it. I swear, things like this just make you want to play The Sims even more. Oh, look, a video from the spyware app. When my sister gets engaged on my 21st and has her bridal shower on my 22nd. Wow, that, that is some sibling rivalry. Kind of plays into your hand, though. I mean, those special days are now usurped by you equally because it's your birthday. She'll only get to celebrate those dates twice. You get to celebrate them every year. Oh, hang on. Is that? Is this the tiger mom? This looks like the tiger mom. Ah, uh, yes. Huddling with the boys and chugging a beer while your bride waits for your answer. When the officiant asks if you take your bride, but you have to consult with the boys. <laughs> Obviously, this is a gag. Come on. I love a good wedding shame, but this is clearly just for fun. At least he didn't bring a llama. This is more tame than other photos that get posted here, but still, why grope your new spouse in your wedding portraits? You know this one? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call it James. Sweetie, that's your name. Yeah, because I'm close to your heart. Oh. And very nice to squeeze. Uh, yes, true, but not for the photos, okay? Nothing screams love like getting matching toe tag tattoos to commemorate your wedding. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, okay. Mate could uh, use a bit of a shower scrub on those toes there. That is interesting. Also, I don't think people realize, especially when you get tattoos on your feet and post them online, there's only one margin of the internet that actually enjoys seeing feet in their face. And those that do won't be enjoying that tattoo. Why does everyone in these photos look uncomfortable? I'm all for using Uber, sure, but come on. I was just in an Uber pool with a couple going to their wedding and they had the audacity to be mad at me for joining the pool even though they chose uber pool on their wedding day i get this targeted ad a lot due to wedding planning and there's so much to unpack baby to bride i am a special bracelet to be worn for baby's baptism first communion or confirmation tuck me away to be worn again on that special wedding day uh, uh hang on oh i see where uh 
targeting the unexpected ones nowadays. Is it wedding shaming if the groom doesn't even know they're dating? Okay, can I get some advice, ladies? Nine months ago, my, what I thought was, fiance asked me to marry him. He didn't have a ring, so I assumed it was a spur of the moment decision. But I am a chill woman. I understood the ring will come later and all that matters is we have each other. I have been planning my dream wedding for seven months now. When I told him I was going dress shopping, he looked at me like I had five heads. Long story short, he claims he never proposed to me. He said, why would I... Why would I propose to a woman I'm not even dating? I am thinking of tricking him into coming to our wedding and just seeing what happens. Not too sure what else I could do. You could maybe realize that he's been pulling you along or you've been pulling yourself along through some weird fantasy. Bruno Mars disapproves. Uh, probably. Nearly half of 83 people who attended a recent Ohio wedding test positive for COVID, making it the latest super spreader event amid a nationwide surge. Stop freaking going to weddings! You can listen to Uptown Funk at home! Yeah, that song along with Dancing Queen is the absolute staples of any wedding DJ, I swear. When wedding shaming meets true crime podcasts. This is tagged as a disaster. Why is it tagged? Is there a murder? Best podcast. Who shat on the floor at my wedding? A true crime podcast by a Kiwi woman trying with her wife and a mate to track down who shat on the actual floor at her actual wedding. On a boat, so a true locked room mystery with limited suspects. Hey, Emily! Emily! podcast we have to listen to. Interesting dress choice for mother of the groom. Ooh wee, I smell a very stinky Jocasta complex. I mean the fact she still has to have that physical touch towards her son, uh oh. That bride is definitely having to share her husband. Gross. So my ex and my former best friend are getting married and I'm credited in their wedding website with introducing them. But the catch is I was dating him at the time. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative. Oh, that's wholesome. That is, <laughs> that is wholesome that I hope to never experience in life. Don't, yep, please don't radiate onto me. Plantation weddings were contentious enough already. That I didn't know, but I understand why. Especially when you see this little collage, oh. Now you may think, well, this is kind of good. It's normalizing it, but in a way where it's like, hey, it's just another way to get married for anyone of any race. It's no longer exclusive to white people. Well, let's just read the caption. 18. 1942, days passed and everything changed. Our love got stronger and stronger. He was no longer a slave. He was part of the family. Part two pre-wedding session. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's okay, it's romantic. You see, he used to be a slave for the family. Now, he's he banged the, his owner's daughter. <laughs> Just because people appreciated this sort of taboo storyline in movies and erotic novels doesn't mean it's actually okay. We love those stories because it's a motivational story of someone breaking the shackles of what pins them down in life. This, however, reads as if you're using his like history and life experience growing up as some sort of tokenism for yourself. Self and self righteousness? I don't know. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I saved you, no, but you it's, didn't. you know, 2022, so, uh -huh. you know, it doesn't really feel as great. So let's just pretend yeah, it's 1842, oh. so I feel like I'm a better white person. Okay, yeah, sure thing, sweetie. Celebrate your adult marriage with OMG WTF or Blow Me candles. Oh, okay, look, the Blow Me is actually a pretty good pun. Oh, hell, why not make your relationship look like a literal kidnapping? No, too tame? Why not get some wit <laughs> to go with your candles? Yeah! 